Hi, so today we're going to look at how to get the perfect fit with your cloth nappies. Have a go at fitting both a popper and a velcro nappy onto Pinky, who I've borrowed from my niece, who is my glamorous assistant today. We'll start with the velcro nappy. So this is a Bambino Mio Mio Solo, which I've done a review of separately on my channel if you're interested. These are a really popular nappy, particularly for childcare. And they're great for people that aren't so familiar with cloth because they're quite similar to a disposable. Um, it is a birth to party nappy, but it is this particular one is rather long in the length. So I've popped it on the smallest rise setting on the front here because Pinky is really tiny. Um, but it is still going to be rather big on her. So to start off with, we um, fit cloth nappies a little bit lower than a disposable nappy, which can come quite high at the back. A cloth nappy sits quite low, sort of just above the bottom. So lie Pinky down and have the nappy just above her bottom. And then as you feed the nappy up between the legs, you just want to pinch it between the legs here as you bring it up. This helps get the uh, elastic right into the nickel line, which gives you a really good snug fit. Um, for the waist, you're aiming for a two finger gap down the front. This gives the baby lots of room to move and means they won't get such an overhang or it digging in when they sit up. Ideally, you want the nappy sitting low enough so you can see the tummy button. So again, it's difficult to see because Pinky's a bit small. So you want to bring the side tabs sort of up and over the hip bone and then across onto the waist and the same here. So we're going up and over to get across here and then have a nice two finger gap and just make sure nothing is sticking out of the front. Um, then I will check that my leg elastics are right in the nickel line. This is quite loose on the, on the leg, Pinky's too small. Um, but I push this right into the nickel line, just run my finger around there. And then just to make sure, because we've used one of the rise poppers, you'll have a little bit of excess fabric here. So you just push that up to get a nice snug fit. Now, for the majority of people, you do want to push that fa rise fabric up just there. However, if your baby is really slim on the waist but has quite chunky thighs, you might find doing it like this, you end up getting quite deep suck marks, which might be uncomfortable. So you can loosen the legs a little bit without having to loosen the waist by taking this rise fabric and rather than pushing it up, pushing it down instead. So you still want to get it nice and neat on the front there, but that just loosens the legs up a little bit more. So if your baby has got really chunky thighs, then that is a great option. So that's a vacuum nappy. And then we'll just have a look at a popper one as well, although it is essentially the same thing. This is a Blueberry Deluxe nappy, which is their pocket nappy. There's also a review of this on my channel. So this is also a birth to party nappy. And again, I've put it on the smallest setting using the rise poppers. You can see that this one is significantly smaller than the Mio in the length. So it is going to give us a bit of a better fit on Pinky today. So same as before, we want to get that back elastic just above the bottom area on Pinky. And then pinch up between the legs, just like before. Smooth that waist panel down. And then again, up and over with the tabs. And on this side, up and over the hip again with the tabs get a nice fit and just check we've got a nice two finger gap on the tummy and then again just roll your finger around and make sure you have tucked the leg elastics right into the nickel line which enables the baby's legs to move more freely but creates a nice seal here so you shouldn't get any leaks and then again normally you'll push your excess rice fabric up at the front Thanks for watching. This video is a suggestion from one of my subscribers. If you have a suggestion of video you'd like to see, please pop it in the comment box below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe for more content.